Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I've just got a new microscope. Uh, it came from Spain by ES Standard Shipping and then finished its journey off by Parcel Foss. There's a little bit of damage here to the box and you can see like a little bit inside. The microscope's from uh, Banggood. So let's open it up and see what it's like. Right, guys. Let's see what we have. We have one work map. Some little sealable compartments. Feels quite sturdy. Small clamp of some description. This piece is plastic, so I don't know how good it's going to be. Allen key. Okay, that's the piece that goes out lengthways. Feels pretty sturdy. It's all it's all metal, apart from the handle here. That's no problem. That's definitely the leg that sticks up and. Oh, that feels real sturdy. It's all metal apart from this little top cap. Okay, that's the uh, bracket that holds the two legs together. The screws are metal bolts with plastic knobs. That feels like that's aluminium. Okay, this is the uh, just a metal plate there's no real weight to it I think what's gonna end up happening is I think I'm gonna screw this through the table and not bother using this unless I screw this down to the workbench like that and have the bar coming out that side Some smaller boxes here. That's the work light. All plastic. Looks alright though. This is it's the it's a lens. Oh it's the reducing lens for the microscope. And there's the camera. Don't know how good that camera is, but we'll find out. HD cable with paint already stuck on it. That's a bit weird. Then we have A times two lens. I 
think that's just the normal just straight see-through lens right let's get the box out of the way Right, here we go. Here we go, here's the microscope. These are the rubber eyepieces. Little gel bag to keep it dry. Ten times to twenty times. That's a eyepiece lens. Probably two of them. That's the adapter for the HD camera to sit on the head. There's a bag here, a dust bag, so you can cover it up. Right, that looks pretty sweet. It's got nylon there so it doesn't scratch the bar when it's sliding up and down. And it's got a ring inside that pushes out so it proper clamps it. It's not just the, the bolt sticking in there. Feels nice. Feels nice and smooth. Here's the lens. Oh no, here's, here's the microscope head. A nice knob on the side there, that feels nice. These are plastic. The body's probably aluminium. This is metal, I think. No, it might be plastic that actually. Yeah. Oh, let's put it back there for now. Let's uh, throw the stand together. Alright guys, let's get this stand together. So we can see what it's like. Get it tested. Allen key that was included. Oh, well, I don't feel nice. Look at all the play in that. It's not nice at all. Okay, that screws out. Can we tighten that up? Oh, we can. Okay, that's okay. Yeah, we can tighten that up. All right, we'll let them off. <laughs> Does this go on first? Yes. Okay, I presume that's to stop it sliding down, so we'll just put that at the bottom.
Here's the first problem. Let me see if I can capture this. In here, where they put the thread through, there's a, a little bit of aluminium sticking out so it doesn't want to go over the bar. Oh, oh, just force it over, that'll do. I presume we want it near the top, we'll put that there and tighten that one up behind it. Put our cap back on. God, this is plastic and it feels like shit. Alright, here's the other arm. Okay, this one's uh, got a long slot down one side. The other one doesn't. So this fits in just like that. So it stops it from turning. Which is nice. So how much play is in that now? A little bit. But that's only because it's thin at the bottom and it flexes. Uh, what's next? I don't know. This more than likely. feels nice and strong actually it's got a little bit of play uh, not sure how that works okay that tightens up yeah that's okay it's nice how you can move that I'd say there's a lot of play in it and this one looks a bit wonky All in all though, I'd say it's good for what you're getting. This one feels more rubbery. And it's a lot better than the other two on the other bars. That monitor's going to be in the way, isn't it? Eh. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Let's just put it, put it sideways then, I guess. Probably better off this way, aren't we? So you guys can see. Very awkward. There we go. Alright. The lens. You have one screw, you unscrew that. And drop the microscope head on. Which turns around nicely. Nice. Put the eyepieces in first. Doesn't come with any instructions, it's just figure it out as you go, I think. Why does that not want to go in there? There's a little screw here. That one in now. Tight 
open that up. Okay, that spins a lot. I guess I guess that's how it is. Okay. Very nice that way. I guess it folds over this side. Yeah. Oh. They're not bad though. Need to screw that one out so we can get to the screw. We uh, brought the screw out a bit too far then. Let's put it back in a bit. You guys can see all this right, yeah. Alright. The other box. Okay, we've moved the screw out and it still doesn't want to go in. There we go. Nice. There's that bit done. Is this a point five? No, that's a two times. We don't want that. Here's a point. Five. I believe this one goes on the end of it. To protect it. That's a reducing lens, which will go on the bottom of here. Don't know how far we screw these out. It's quite nice. LED lamp, long life, low heat. say anything else okay there's a little uh, notch height six that sits in here so we just tighten them down on it that 
like so. Move it a little bit slack so we can spin it slightly. Power cable here. This comes with a plug like this attached. Plugs in the back. Now, do I have a plug like that flying around? Yes, I do. light. Oh, it's hard to get to behind there. Brighten, dimming. But you can dim it all the way off with that, that's nice. And it has a switch. Can't believe the, the HD cable came all with paint on it. So it's, it's not very nice, is it? We might as well put the HD camera on while we're at it. Feels very top heavy now. I don't know how good the camera is going to be. It has a full size HDMI slot, it has a VGA out, and it is 5 volt DC in. It's got a bit of a menu. There's no point in doing anything with that camera just yet because we need to tune it in when it's when we're looking through the microscope. Move that box out there. plugs now because apparently we need two plugs I don't know why they think everybody's got a plug like this lying around this to look at we can use the back half of that right let's have a look see what I think oh, look at that it's very top heavy
used one of these before, so I don't know how to focus it. Okay. Okay, that's very clear. It's an extremely good microscope for uh, using in this setup. I wonder if I can. I'll try and get a picture, an image on my phone through it. Uh, let's see. I'll insert a video of this into the video now. So we'll go on to the phone in a second. Looks a lot better than this through the microscope, but this is the best I can show you through there right now to show you what kind of image you're going to be getting. Can we zoom in a little bit? There's a video through the uh, microscope eye, well lens, one of them, it's not bad. That's what it looks like on there, I'll have a look at that piece there now. Hang on. Jesus. Let's turn the brightness up slightly. See if that helps me camera out a bit. Here we go. Best I can show you really. It's very hard to capture it through that eyepiece. Here we go. That's what it looks like through the eye, the microscope lens. Looking through the eyepiece. Alright, so there it is. We'll uh, get a cable for this and we'll try the HDMI cable. Uh, HDMI camera on the monitor. There's a video at the top of the motor. It looks very clear when you look through it with your eyes. I'd say the quality of the microscope is very good. Hey guys, I've uh found a plug and we've got it working as you can see it's a little dark if I had a flashlight on to the job you can see a it's a much brighter so you're a faster light or something but I feel like we should have it so it zooms out a little bit more because I don't know if you can see through here Kind of get the idea that it's uh, really zoomed out. I'll see if I can capture it with the phone and add it on there. Let's try a few other different things while we're on there. This is a, an iPhone 5. You can see the connectors there. can zoom in a little bit more I think I 
and we can focus it in with this one there we go that's about as best we're going to get it's a 13 megapixel camera as you can see you know you can see what's going on nicely uh, I suppose you can check the uh, connectors on the phone as well if you can find them there they are Just uh, lift the zoom up, no, down. No, oh, I don't know now. Zoom out a little. I suppose it's very dark, you see. It needs a torch on it. it. Needs a much brighter light. I think the LED light that they supply is not very good. But it's fine underneath the, uh, in the actual microscope itself. let's set this back up and then we'll get it so the phone's on it uh, oh, we'll set it up at about that level I think we're on maximum maximum brightness there we go right I'll cut to the phone you see there we can see how far out we're zoomed microscope head so we definitely need a reducer on here and you can see that it's exactly the same on the screen so that would half the uh, the microscope if we had a reducer on here so I'll get a 0.5 for the I have heard after you get the 0.5 on here the brightness fixes itself so we'll see what happens there I, when I first set this up, I had the light up here on this ring, but I've moved it down here now. So it's a lot closer to the job. I'm quite happy with the distance there. I'll set the height on this afterwards. It's just, I just put this here because that's why I had it set up at. See the screw there? Connectors. Real smart. I think it's money well spent, really. Shame it doesn't come with a reducer for the uh, HD camera. But that's okay. Don't like this base. This base is a bit flimsy. They could have added a bit more weight to the back end here. Or the front to hold it down better. This moves up and down real nice. This zoom here on the head does not move as nice. Go back to the other camera. Well, there we go. Turn this down, I think it's messing with my camera really. This this works well, this plastic ring really. You can always get me a to manufacture one that's in aluminium or something. This bracket works well. It kind of leans a little bit. So it leans inwards, but I, I don't mind that because it'll help when you're doing uh, HDMI parts a little. around here you can turn that increase the uh, the light or however much you like this is the little screw that holds the head in place HDMI camera does not have any micro SD slot for saving so if you want to save onto the camera that's something you could think about uh, i think there's a couple of different kinds of uh, adapters here i'll put another video up a follow-up video 
when I figure out which one I'm going for and if it improves it. These ads, you can screw them out like that. And it, uh, which, I'm not sure which way. One way increases it and the other way decreases it. Yeah, one way uh, increases the times and the other way decreases it. I don't know which way around they work. But you can uh, adjust it all and set it up so you can gain from 10 to 20 times on that. Uh, this goes from... I'm not sure what this goes from. 0.7 to... to 4.5 but it gets real sticky just before the free. Look at that, it's almost locked up. You see that? It gets stuck there. It just doesn't want to go any further. It keeps getting stuck, which is annoying. I'm not sure what's going on there. I'll have to open it up and have a look. I don't think it makes a difference if we use the other side. No, nope, just keeps getting stuck at the same point. I'll have a look inside. So it so it has come a bit faulty, you see. Huh. Right. Uh I think that wraps it up really. We could uh, add on the two times and show you what it's like, but I think we'll do that for a future video. Uh, so that's what you get really. Let's turn the, the brightness up so you can see. There you go. Works nicely, you see. You wanted to do a bit of phone case uh, inspection? Perfect. I'm sure this sticking's not much. I shouldn't really have to fix it, but you know, sometimes you have to do stuff that you don't want to do. Right, there we go, guys. Got the HDMI camera working nicely. Well, kind of. Could do with a bit of extra light if you have a look. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I think it's because it doesn't have a reducer here. It's supposed to have a 0 0.5 reducer. I've seen on their uh, reviews people was talking about it. I don't know why they just don't include it and then they will get less complaints. Uh, I'll input a video of how zoomed in we are. Yeah, the camera doesn't have an SD card. Uh, I don't believe the brightness does any fit on here from what people was saying we can have a look uh, picture brightness let's try and turn the brightness up hey eh? put it up to 99 no nope. doesn't seem to be uh, any different really does it hmm? not really it's good enough though, you can work underneath it. Apart from the fact that you can see so much more on the board, it's like, you can see like that much, you'll see in the in the other video, but you can see that much more, which is a major problem. Because even though you're looking on the screen up there, you got to zoom out every time. Uh, these heads seem to be adjustable, they seem to go from times 10 to times 20 uh, I did have a problem with this when I first got it where it weren't gonna zoom it wasn't gonna go past uh, three. God, it's so dark but I seem to have freed that off now I don't know why it was but it's just working so nice now. I had to turn it upside down and turn it up and down constantly until it fixed itself. The overall build quality is pretty good. The heads are uh, real good quality, which is a plus side because I mean, 
that's really what you're spending your money for isn't it just to get the head when you're looking through here I give it 10 out of 10 on my expectations it's just perfect uh, we do have another we have a two times here which is four times more than what this will go now because I have the reducer on but I want the working space uh, this goes up and down smoothly that works nice now I'll have to get a reducer I'm not happy about that but that should have come with it this bracket works real well this stopper that holds it up even though it's plastic it's working nicely uh, you, could, you could bolt that straight through your table if you wanted that would probably be a better idea then at least it's at the right height uh, the mat yeah I like the mat the mat's great let me turn this stupid light off for a minute because you can't see nothing with that yeah the, the mat works real nice you got the compartments here yeah yeah so I give this a good 8 out of 10 I'd give it 10 out of 10 on my expectations but with this not being the uh, having its right reducer here and the picture being dark that kind of uh, really puts it at 8 well guys thanks for watching I hope this uh, gives you a good idea where you want to buy one or not it's uh, from Banggood it's 3.5 to 90 zoom I haven't played around with the head that much yet because I just wanted to make a first impression video on it the GoPro decided it didn't want to do the rest of the outro. I just, as I was saying, I just wanted to uh, give my first impressions, see what uh, I feel like it's like out straight out the box, uh, show you what it's like, make, so you can make your mind up where you want to buy one, uh, where it's worth buying one. Everything seems pretty good, really. Well, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in an update video.